Hi, my name's Rod, and I'm going to walk you through the process of unzipping this practice video samples zip folder and putting its I contents into iTunes or playing it in Windows Media Player and getting the uh, iPod video onto your iPod as well as the MP3. So let's get started. Right here we have our practice video samples dot zip folder. It's in zip format, which you can tell by the little zipper on the folder. Zip format makes it easier to send multiple files on the internet. Unfortunately, we can't use the files inside this folder until we quote unquote unzip it, or the technical term is extract the files. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do right now. We're gonna start by double clicking on the folder. That'll bring up a new window, and on the right hand side of this window are the contents of the folder. And on the left hand, it says extract all files. That's where you need to click, right on extract all files. So I just did that. Once you do that, you get an extraction wizard window that pops up. Go to the bottom of that and click next. This next window is basically asking you, once we unzip the folder, where would you like to put its contents? Well, I want them on the desktop because that makes them easy for me to find. So I'm going to click on Browse. And in this new window, I click Desktop. You can select whatever you want. You want to select My Documents? Go ahead. Just make sure you remember what you select so you can find the files later. After I select Desktop, I go to the bottom and I click OK. Then I go back to my Extraction Wizard window and click Next. And you can see the wizard is extracting the files or unzipping the folder. Um, in fact, if you look on the left-hand side of the screen, we have two new folders that popped up. And these came from inside this practice video samples.zip folder. That's where those files came from. And as soon as this is done extracting, uh, we have one more little window to go through. And then we can finish up and get to the actual files that we want. I'm going to pause this while it finishes extracting. Don't worry, you won't miss anything. Okay, so um, the extraction is complete and we have this final window in the extraction wizard will show up. There's a check, check box and beside it it says show extracted files. If you leave that box checked and you come down here and click finish, a new window will pop up with your extracted files in it. Now, if you're happy with that, go ahead and do it. Personally, I don't like windows popping up on their own. I like to be the one who opens the windows so I know exactly where they came from. So I'm gonna uncheck it. You can do whatever you like, but I'm gonna uncheck that checkbox and then click Finish. Next, I'm gonna go to this open window in the middle of the screen and close it out. I don't need it anymore. Then over here on the left hand side, we have two new folders, Mac OS X and Practice Video Samples. Well, we're on a PC, so we can just throw that Mac OS X folder right in the trash. We don't need it. And I'm gonna drag this Practice Video Samples over to the right hand side of the screen, and I'm gonna double click it to show you the contents of the folder. Now, the first file you see is this .ds store file. That is a junk file created during the compression process. So you don't need it. Go ahead and throw it in the trash and forget about it. Now I have several files in here. I'll go through with what each one is. The first one is my practice video level one sample MP3. MP3 is a music file. My next one is practice video level one. Whoops, didn't mean to open that up. <laughs> Sorry about that. My second file is a practice video level one sample iPod.m4v. That's basically iPod format video file. Over here I've got my practice video level one sample .mov. That's a QuickTime file. Um, and finally, practice video level one sample WMB. That's a Windows media file. Now tune in for my next uh, video and I will show you how to play each one of these also to load the iPod and MP3 version into your iPod. So tune in for that and we'll keep going. 